Hundreds of children and parents made their way out to Riverside Park tonight. They kicked off the Stop the Violence football tournament. The games, in honor of former Warren Central standout Dijon Anderson, gunned down earlier this year. 24 Hour News 8's Eric Feldman found out what message organizers want to send to the children. Eric. Well, Dave, organizers say that they want kids to know that there is a path forward that doesn't need to involve violence. This is the second year of the tournament. Last year, it was in honor of an Indy High School football player who was paralyzed from a gunshot wound. This year, it's in honor of the memory of Dijon Anderson. A summer night for fun and play. Come out here and watch Broncos win. 16 teams will put on their pads and play the game they love. They're playing at Riverside Park for the Stop the Violence Tournament, put on by the MG Dads Club Youth Football League. A time for teams to practice before their seasons kick off. But a serious message to this tournament. They're playing in honor of Dijon Anderson, a star player at Warren Central who was shot and killed back in May. We're trying to do something positive for these young males so that they can see that there's somebody out here for them that's in their corner. Organizer Anthony King says Anderson seemed to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But he says he, along with many of the kids playing in this tournament, have grown up surrounded by this violence. So showing a path without it is crucial. Parents say the tournament is great. Something for him to do, especially all the kids to do to get him something and to learn more about football instead of being at home playing the games and doing nothing on the weekend. And while the kids want to win, they get the message too. I think that kids should like play football to stay out the streets and stay away from drugs and guns and stuff like that. And on Sunday, parents and kids will have the chance to speak with and honor Dijon Anderson's family, who will be honored at halftime during the championship game. I'm live at Riverside Park, Eric Feldman, 24-Hour News 8.